Hi, my name is Tim Schmaltz, and uh, as you can see here, this is my latest uh, creation. It's St. Francis of Assisi Blessing Pets, St. Francis Blessing Pets. And kind of my inspiration for this piece is actually my son, who is absolutely in love with pets. He's five years old, and uh, he wants one pet uh, of each type of uh, animal there is out there. And I, I, I realized how much uh, pets mean to families. And so when I thought about St. Francis of Assisi, who's usually depicted with pets, or, or I mean animals that you never see, the, the, the wolf, the, uh, uh, these, these wildlife animals. So what I thought I could do is create a, a sculpture of St. Francis of Assisi with the animals that all of us are familiar with. And so with the amount of uh, people that, that love the animals, I thought I'd create a sculpture that has them all within one piece. Most of your... Uh, animals that, that, that people have in their families. And you can see over here, I start with uh, the parrots, and then you have a budgie, and then other birds here. And then I have a couple cats in. Uh, basically, I was looking at some of the statistics that the two most popular pets in uh, the world are basically dogs and cats. So I have a surplus of them within the piece. But you can see all these animals uh, are looking up towards St. Francis, and there's that movement towards St. Francis. And so in a sense, St. Francis is actually leading the animals. So you have the turtle, the uh, two different types of dogs, and then the fish, and at the bottom you have uh, the smaller aqua, uh, uh, like the lizard and reptiles. So all this movement goes up to St. Francis. And you can see here, it's almost like uh, the general shape of the piece is almost like the world itself, a very circular organic shape, which is interesting. And so your eye comes over here, and it comes to the tip of it where St. Francis is pointing up to heaven. And so he is blessing the pets, and it's almost like also uh, he's also preaching to the pets, you could interpret this piece. As in, you can see, uh, it truly is a three-dimensional uh, piece here with animals on both sides. And so this is a piece that you, if you do have a pet, if you're a pet lover, uh, and if you do love St. Francis of Assisi, it's a wonderful piece to, uh, to have for perhaps a garden area, or if uh, a church is doing uh, pet blessings, they can bring it out, or for a pet cemetery or whatever. I love the piece, it was a lot of work getting all the detail using photographs of the animals. What I'm very happy about is it's a very simple blessing, very subtle, but with the one hand pointed up, it's showing that there's a lesson to be taught here about spirituality. It was a fun piece, I enjoyed doing it, and the next step is doing it life-size. Thanks.